website at www.kitboxaircraft.com. Thank you, Alan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to look out in front of you. I want to start with a question. What did David Porter, Red Line Air Show pilots Ken Reeder and John Cocker, Jerry Kirby, announcer Larry Sex Snyder and I and over 10,000 other pilots around the world have in common? It's what you're seeing taking off right now, the Vans RB series of aircraft. And to tell you about it, is one of the newest employees of Vans, Greg Hughes from Portland, Oregon. And Greg, who's off? Oh, tell us. Anyway, congratulations. 10,000 more coming. Thanks, Ron. That, that RB3 that just took off is being flown by Jim Ivey. He's a pecan nut farmer from Clint, Texas. Located just down the road from El Paso, Texas. He owns a number of aircraft, including a couple of other models. Builder in 1997. It's a 180 horsepower airplane. Tom works as an aerospace engineer in Wichita, Kansas. You know, the RV3 was a really popular airplane and people wanted a two seat model, and so the RV4 is what Van designed, and that's what's flying right in front of us now. Ty Wingus in Sport Aviation wrote a great article on the history of this. Mix Locke is now the president, but David Porter with an RV7 was built the 10,000. Here we've got, uh, this is uh, one of the A models. The A model uh, with a special one model, but it's got an OCR. That's right, you see an RV6A. This is Tom Olson's RV6A, and this started in 1992. He completed in 1998, so he's been flying this airplane now for 20 years. Uh, he did all the painting, the upholstery, the engine build, the avionics installation. Uh, about 1,800 hours that he has flown on that airplane on the original engine. They flown across the United States, visiting grandkids and relatives, and using for all different sorts of activity. If you go back to 1955, the Stitch Playboy is something that was purchased by Richard Van Grusman in 1963, and he decided to improve it. And the word total performance is drive up the the other airplane that you see taking off and making the right-hand turn right now is an RV-7 flown by Steve Ludy. He finished this RV-7 in 2011, has about 200 hours that he's flown on it. It's a family build. He flew it with his wife and his, or, or built it with his wife and his two kids. His youngest is 16 years old now. Uh, Steve had actually considered selling the airplane, but made a decision not to do it after his son convinced him not to. <laughs> Great story. All right, and up next, this RV 8A is flown by Tim Fitzpatrick. He completed it also in 2011. It took him three and a half years of construction. He built it in the garage. Powered by an 0360 and 180 horsepower engine and a composite fixed pitch prop, fully aerobatic, and he's, he has a great time flying that airplane. Should also say Tim has served in the Marine Corps Reserve, the U.S. Army, and the U.S. Coast Guard, an air traffic, traffic control specialist, lots of certifications. We really appreciate Tim coming out and flying that airplane today. Vance Aircraft was founded back in 1972 with the first Army 3 season Oshkosh in 1973, and it was the fans and the builders who spurred fans, to, as they call it, to, uh, to expand the models. Aircraft departing and about to make a right turn now. Off show center is an RV9. That's a great example of expanding the envelope of what the RVs can do. The RV9 is an airplane with a longer wing that can fly high, can fly quickly, can land slow. You'll see it on short strips, but it can do it with great economy with a smaller engine that doesn't have to burn quite as much fuel. I will tell you that uh, last year I flew 176 hours in my RV7A. $60 an hour to operate. The RV-10 that's departing right now is owned by Scott and Renee Schmidt, along with their two girls, Anna and Emily. Uh, they uh, 
bought the RB10 kit at Oshkosh in 2003. Actually, they completed the build in 2006. It took them only about three years, and they only have flown it more than 1,200 hours. So they use it to take the family on lots of flying adventures, exploring the U.S. Uh, the RB10 is an airplane that is a true four-person airplane. You can put four FAA standard people in there, full fuel, and 60 pounds of baggage. Uh, front and back seats, people up to six foot, six foot four inches tall, and uh, provide them uh, a lot of real comfort. And that four-seater also has the go wings. It's not aerobatic like many of the others are. The RB12, the light sport, is non-aerobatic. But uh, oh, go. Who's this one? So the RB12 that is departing right now, Cross Show Center. Construction begun on that in October of 2015 in McKinney, Texas as part of the Eagle's Nest project. So there's a, a variety of different projects that go on around the country. And the Eagle's Nest project is one of them. They built a significant number of airplanes and have uh, between kits that are being built and kits that have been completed, over 20 in process. This one is named Voyager, was named by the students. Uh, it took about 18 months for them to complete, had its first flight in uh, 2017, and made a trip to Oshkosh last year, and is back this year. When you go by the numbers, and this is part of Ty Windus' article, well, let's get this take off here. This is another of the price you can hear on uh, RV. Unmistakable, though, on that character. The RV-14 that he's playing right now is flown by Dave Schuler. His RV-14 was completed February of 2017, he was able to take home a bronze Lindy actually at AirVenture last year when it made his first trip here. Uh, that was a big surprise for him uh, and, and a great way great way to make your first trip to AirVenture. Um, in many ways, he built it as a tribute to his father. His father served as a crew chief in the Montana, Montana Air National Guard before returning uh, to his farm in Montana. Uh, he took Dave on his first airplane flight and uh, they had hoped to build an airplane together. But after his dad passed away and they were not able to do that together, Dave built that as a tribute to his father. So a very special project and a very meaningful life experience, as RVs are in a lot of people's lives. Indeed they are. The RV-1, 1965, just one built. RV-3, 1971, 300. First from the ground up and the first available via kits and plants. The RV-4 introduced in 1979. 1,420 of those, that's the first two-seat version. The RV-6 and 6A, built, uh, introduced in 1986, 2,400 of those, that's most popular in terms of numbers, and the first tricycle gear availability of the RVs. The RV-7 and 7A, an improved concept replacing the 6. RV-8 and 8A, 1995 uh, introduction. 1,461 of those, and it could accept up to a 200-pound horsepower light homing engine. The RV-9 and 9A, uh, 2001, 1,083, with a, it could go down to 118 horsepower, more uh, leisurely flying from that. The RV-10, the first and only four-seat with tricycle gear only. The 12 certified light sport, and the 14 and the 14A, 57 as of a couple of months ago, and it's great to see the RV-14 a little roomier even than the 7, and it's really a fine airplane to fly. It is It is a larger airplane, large, uh, bigger people really, really like that airplane, but even folks that just want a little more elbow room, a little more room to carry some stuff with them, it's a great airplane to have. And actually, the most recent number I can tell you as of today, from 57, we're up to 64. <laughs> as of today, flying RB14 and 14A models. Well, well, how do you know that? Oh, that's right, you're a new employee. What on earth got you going? What did you do before you joined Vans? Uh, I worked in IT, uh, but I've been working with uh, the team flight program in Portland, Oregon, and, and uh, uh, building my own RB8A uh, right now, and I uh, had an opportunity. Yes, I joined, I joined Vans Aircraft. Guy How long have you been at Vans? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Mitch Locke is trusting you to come up here. That's pretty cool stuff. And uh, but I tell you what, they call these experimental, but but the RV series of aircraft. Uh, Mitch and I have had some chats. He says it's a lifestyle feature, and it has been for me uh, because it enables me to get to air shows much more efficiently, quickly, economically than any other way that I've ever traveled to an air show. Right. Vans aircraft total performance is a very real thing, and, and uh, the, the, what these aircraft can do, what people use them for, astounds us all the time. Um, they're they're a truly multi-mission airplane for a lot of different we're, we're celebrating 10,000 RVs in the Boeing 
Vegas today where they're parked next to the B-29 dock. You can also see great customer examples of RVs all week right around the corner from there at the 10,000 RV parking area that's located just north of the center across the drive to the International Aeromatic Club building. And of course, there's always parked out in the Oakdale parking lot and many, many RVs for folks to think about. Now, I, I, in, in terms of numbers that that come to Oshkosh, of the 10,000, do you have any idea how many get to Oshkosh every year on average? I, I don't know the numbers for this year. I'm going to be very interested to find out. The number is quite large. It's very few years a year, but I, I have to be honest with you, I don't know the number today. Well, I know that I saw at least 100 on the field last night when I went through uh, through the gathering. And uh, I, my wife is not here, but she, uh, she thought, boy, it's pretty cool. Uh, she saw them all parked there, and I went up and down the line, and just an amazing family of people who have so much in common, more than just the love of flying and the love of building, but the camaraderie of the RV is such a huge But flying an RV is a great experience, but it's also a terrific lifestyle. And the people that build the airplanes, uh, the support network is terrific, and uh, it really is a family environment when it comes.